Hey, this is Anthony from Zillow. You can watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Dionese Airmaster jacket available at RevZilla.com. This is the Airmaster. Think of it as a, an aggressive, beefed up sport touring mesh. If we look at it, massive mesh panels, which are going to flow air for late spring through early fall. So I give it that two season hot weather seasonality. But what I like about it, that's gonna put it above something like the airframe in the Dionese lineup, is using a tighter weave mesh. It's a little bit more sophisticated in its look. You're also using hard TPUs in the shoulder and a d 350 material. And that d 350 beefs up the normal textile. You're getting a closed weave mesh and ultimately coupling that with a more sophisticated style gives you that kind of fuller range, more adult look, still standing on the shoulders of the Dionese design out of Italy, but again, taking it kind of the next level. You think about the family tree of mesh jackets from Dionese for two season hot weather, I'd go from something like this in the Air Master to something like the Super Speed, which is going to be a bit more race aggressive as you move your way up. Now, quick note on fitment. Yes, it's Hive is Brian. Yes, He's the staple of Dionese Fitment. Six foot, 195, 42 inch chest. He's wearing a size 52. It fits him spot on. And you can see it's a little bit more of a sport touring cut. Doesn't mean it's baggy. It's still gonna be a European svelte, but it does mean it's not that race fit. So he has a little bit more room to move. Use the size chart. There's lightweight adjustability on this. We'll ship for free over 39 bucks. No surprises there. And I'd love it if you click our logo, subscribe to Servezilla on our YouTube channel. Leave me your comments, your questions, your feedback on the new Air Master. Now, if I dive into the Air Master and I say, what would I pick at it? I'm actually gonna pick at it in two places. The first one is giving me a two season hot weather sport touring oriented jacket, rock on. But the fact that it's around the $300 mark starts to tickle the, the jacket for dollar threshold a little bit. I would look at this and say, ah, I know it's composite armor. I know we have hard parts in the shoulder, but close to that $300 mark, I'd like to see reflective on this. This is where I poke at it a little bit. Again, I would assume you're wearing this, you're riding longer distances, you're commuting in it, you're potentially riding at night, or maybe getting caught in inclement weather as you're putting more miles on the pavement. I might wanna see a little bit of reflective there. So take it with a grain of salt, Dionese, run with it. For you watching, that may be less important to you, but if you're me, that's where I'm gonna to start to pick at it. Other than that, I like what they've done here. We've talked about our tighter weave mesh, starting with the collar working away down, spring-loaded snaps at the collar. There is a band of neoprene across the back of the collar for comfort. You have some adjustability there. Working way down, this is the gray, black, and high-vis or floral red version. I love this colorway. I think it really works together. And again, whenever you have that black and gray together, it is a little bit more of a sophisticated palette, a little bit more in that sport touring realm. Ultimately, two snaps at the bicep, we work our way down. Notice big mesh panels across the arm. And as we get down to the sides here at the arm, they're using an auto-locking YKK. So ultimately, we have that big auto-locking zipper. It opens up, it is gusseted from the back, but ultimately, that's your adjustment point for your glove, whether you're rocking over the gauntlet or you're gonna put that glove underneath. I do like the fact that they've added neoprene at the termination point of the sleeve as well. That will be very comfortable. Basic hand warmers across the side. Hi, is Brian, avert your eyes, go that away, stop right there and if we work our way into this shoulder there's no real stretch worked in here but ultimately there's enough mesh which is a little bit of a looser material that gives you that range of motion again it's not going to be overly constrictive and you have a little bit more material as it is a touring cut now ultimately there's my hard part on top of hard part underneath composite elbow composite armor ce rated all the way down to the forearm notice multiple panels across the back you do have a lightweight area of adjustability down along the side easy to find when you're riding and turn backwards for me there, HVB. If we look at the back here, no back protection stock, pocket for a Manus back protector. You do have an embossed Dionese stitch logo on part of that drop seat, which is really nice. And again, 270 degree zipper going all the way around the waist so you can connect it to pants. I like the back here. I think it's done well. Big high vis or fluoro high vis, I know you're turned on. Fluoro Dionese pop across the top of the back. And then this is interesting. Go down to the lightweight or small of the back here. Ultimately, that is a very interesting pocket. I said, what is that pocket for? And I wish I could say that in Italian so I could make it more authentic. But ultimately, I was told for an extra set of gloves. Well, Dionese, it's a little bit shallow for an extra set of gloves. I'd be worried about losing those gloves the whole time. Maybe something like a water bottle that you jam in there and that pocket keeps it in place. But ultimately, outside of riding two up and having your passenger maybe put their Italian version of a Kindle Fire in there or some kind of magazine or maybe, I don't know, snacks, some pretzels like on the airplane, I'm not exactly sure what that pocket's for, but that might be the fun of this jacket for you of all the things that you could think about putting in that Italian backside random pocket. Now, come back around the front. I know 
know you're laughing. It's okay. Dionysia, you know we love you. We highlight the good, and then sometimes we highlight the confusion. But that is uh, why you're an Italian company. It's fine. We're just rolling. I can say that because I'm 100% Italian. Now, if we open it up, open it up. Hi, Ms. Brian. You can't say any of that because you are not 100% Italian. Just laying that out there so I don't get any hate mail. Ultimately, you open up the jacket. It works on the inside. You have your pockets for chest protector on the inside. We talked about the stretch mount at 270 degree zipper. Notice you do have that neoprene on the top here. Open it up on that side. Would love to see a waterproof pocket incorporated somewhere. Maybe be able to put my credential, cell phone, or Ryan's ID that I have in my pocket. I'm trying to theft him. He might never get it back, but now I just told him the series is out, the story's out. Zip that bad boy up there. Ultimately, that's your Air Master. Around $300 mark, two season hot weather, fit and finish are quite nice. Ultimately, it carries an additional safety rating of something like the Airframe D1 by beefing up the mesh, beefing up the shoulders, and beefing up that 350D textile that they're using pulling it together. Again, you want to get hyper aggressive, you want to see boomerang mesh and some other wild stuff, check out the Super Speed. Again, two season hot, but punch you in the mouth aggressive. Where this guy is going to be a bit more of that clean, classic. Just think about the race mechanics, Valentino Rossi's pit crew. One foot on the barrel of fuel, one foot on the cigarette. I could see them all day long rocking this out as part of Team Yamaha. But that's neither here nor there. The next step in your journey is click the info button, your desktop, your mobile device. Visit the product detail page at Revzilla.com. Read other rider reviews. You shouldn't just take my word for it. As always, we'll ship free over 38 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at Revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detail breakdown. Remember, subscribe to us at Revzilla on our YouTube channel. Stay up to date with our opinion. And the hive is Brian. Incorporated with the latest and greatest in the motor universe. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.